Hello, it's Monday, October the 26th. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. O Lord, watch over us and save us from this generation forever. Restore us, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Jesus said, <clears throat> I shall not leave you orphans. I shall come to you. In a short time, the world will no longer see me, but you will see that I live and you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in the Father and you in me and I in you. Whoever holds my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what has happened that you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him and make a home in him. Anyone who does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not my own. It is the word of the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you, but the paraclete, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Son. Glory be to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in me the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that I may obtain what you promise, make me love what you command, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, I thank you for the glorious company of the apostles, and especially on this day for Simon and Jude. And I pray that as they were faithful and zealous in their mission, so I may with ardent devotion make known the love and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you this day and always.